Hi, I'm John Bun Lee Ui. I'm a Cambodian student. This year is my fourth year at the College of the Atlantic. Um, where I'm standing right now is our on-campus community garden. So welcome to the community garden at the College of the Atlantic. So um, this community garden, um, I start working here and also it's part of my habit come and growing some stuff here after I took um, garden and greenhouses class in the spring of 2016. Um, so I still continue growing stuff in this garden. Um, this summer I grow some I grew some tomatoes, some rice, barley on this plot. This plot I used to um, plan for my project during the garden and greenhouses class. And I also work for um, the professor who in charge in this garden. So I usually do weeding, watering plants, and also um, kind of maintain the garden. And also some of the orchard tree, like apple trees and a peach and some pear. I also um, water them and checking them like to make sure everything looks good and healthy. So over the summer, I also grew some rice for testing. It's part of my senior project. Um, so for whom never seen rice before, this is how rice look like. So um, one of these stem it grow from one seed. So this top part is gonna produce seed. That's and then it's go into the mill machine and then it get the skin up. That's how rice come out. And then the byproduct from that, like part, mostly like all of this straw, it's gonna. Uh, all of these parts gonna turn to straw and then part of my senior project I gonna conduct an experiment of turning the straw into silage which can be used for animal feed so here how's the rice straw look like after it hours and then it drive up and then got thrust the grain up from the from the stems this is called rice straw behind me there's two full bags of rice straw that it's already dried up and then this morning we're gonna chop it up and then like process it to a uh, silage to help um, digest to improve the digestibility and um, nutrient quality and this purpose of experiment we will treat this rice straw with two treatments one is molasses and one is urea and we will compare how much nutrient improved from these two uh, treatments compared to the fresh rice straw itself. Um, so before I start this um, silage process, I got a lot of questions from people. Uh, what is silage? And so um, let me try to explain like what is silage. So silage is a fermentation process um, with anaerobic digestion um, with the without the presence of air to preserve um, residue to improve the nutrient quality and um, digestibility and for the industrial um, scale they usually um, store the silage in the silo bunker while in the small industrial people use usually use um, barrels or plastic bags to um, put the silage inside so it will prevent from the presence of the air. So first of all we're gonna use um, these wood choppers to chop the um, rice straw so it will be like shorter. It's easier for us to mix it with um, soluble urea and molasses before we stuff into the bottles for the silage process.
So um, the next step after we chop it, we're gonna weigh it to calculate how much uh, molasses and urea we need for the treatment. So we're gonna do um, 110 ratio, so one um, kilogram molasses, 10 liter of water, um, by the calculation of how much the straw weighs. So um, this is the treatment. Um, this is urea and this is uh, molasses that we're gonna mix, it, mix them into water and then spray it on the chop straw and then uh, we'll stuff it in the barrels. Um, so now we're gonna mix um, urea and molasses into water. Um, so now I'm gonna start with urea. All right, urea go into water. Okay, mixing it. And then molasses now. <laughs> molasses is a bit harder. All right, so now we're gonna um, mix the drop straw with the um, soluble water and with urea. The urea mixed with water. So after it's done mixed, now we're gonna stuff it into the barrel and then um, close it up, tie it before we store it for the fermentation process. So now we'll finish um, the urea, so now we're gonna do molasses. Um, so let me start mixing molasses into the chop straw. Here is the table of the results from the Dairy One laboratory. In this table, I chose only five categories including dry matter, crude protein, total digestibility nutrients, calcium, and phosphorus to compare because they are generally important for livestock farmers to understand. Among the untreated straw, urea treatment, molasses treatment and grass hay. The urea treatment show, shows a significant improvement on crude protein and phosphorus. This means that it is a great sign, especially for farmers who are trying to figure out the amount of feed requirements for their animals if they mix different types of feed together. The urea treatment also shows a slight improvement of total digestibility nutrients and calcium compared to untreated straw and molasses treatment. Also, it is cheap to produce urea treatment silage. It costs only about 5 cents per pound. Therefore, in countries where rice straw is overproduced and urea and molasses are available, I recommend livestock farmers to try to produce rice or silage with urea or molasses treatment for their animals. If you have any questions, more information or suggestion, email me through the email below.